Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You shall go into Egypt again. He's saying you're going to go into slavery again. We with ships because you're not going to the physical one which you can walk to. That's this right. place you have to take a ship there, which is called Transatlantic Slave Trade. They transported you across the Atlantic Ocean by ships. All right, so you said, is that talking about the two witnesses, right? Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, it is referring to the two witnesses. Who are the witnesses? Who are the witnesses? Read it. Book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. Who's the witnesses? Who are the two witnesses? Who is God's witnesses? Israel and Jacob. Say it again. Israel and Jacob. The Israelites, right. Israel and Jacob. So, exactly, more specifically, it's talking about Judah and Israel, the southern kingdom of Israel and the northern kingdom of Israel. Let's get that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, 43 and verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Verse 1. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Verse 10. Ye are my witnesses. Those are the witnesses. You understand it? So Jacob and Israel is talking about the same people. More specifically, when you get to Revelations, it's talking about Judah, the southern kingdom of Israel, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and then Israel, the northern kingdom that was scattered. Okay? Those are the ones that were called Gentiles in the New Testament. All right? Those are the two witnesses, the Israelites. So when we go back to Revelations 11 and 3. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. And my Judah and Israel. Read. And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days. You know what? We were going to live Deuteronomy in Deuteronomy chapter 28 for 350 years. That's that three and a three and a half days. You read in uh, Daniel, it says a time, times, and a time and a half of times. Here throughout the scriptures, you'll read three and a half days. That Read that number of days right there. And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days. The same as that three and a half days or three hundred and fifty years. So when you go back to 1619, when we were made slaves here in America, the truth first started coming out 350 years later, 1969. We lived prophecy. We lived Deuteronomy chapter 28. Give me that, Hosea. What's that, 12 or 10? You know what I want, right? Similar to? Give me that. So when it says, and they, sh and they shall prophesy that amount of time, this is what it means. It's talking about a similar to. We weren't actually literally going out prophesying. We were living the prophecy of Deuteronomy 28. That's how our bodies was prophesying. Come on. The book of Hosea, chapter 12 and verse 10. Yeah. I have also spoken by the prophets. He's spoken by the prophets, read. And I have multiplied visions and used similar to. Use what? Similar to. Similar to or metaphors, similarities between one thing and another, read. By the ministry. By the ministry of the prophets. The ministry of the prophets is talking about the acts, the actions of the prophets. You understand? So the way we lived was a similar tool for that amount of time, the 350 years. And how did we live? What was that similar to? Deuteronomy 28, or Revela not Deuteronomy 28, Revelations 11 and 8. Come on. This is what we did. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead... And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. So here is going to that prophecy. Our dead bodies shall lie in the street. 
What is, why does it say our dead bodies? Whose dead bodies? The two witnesses, which we have already established, are the Israelites. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, what? Out of the understanding of the scriptures, come on, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's how we were dead. Because in Deuteronomy 28, we were destroyed. That's through captivity. It says we shall have yokes of iron on us until we become destroyed or we become dead. So here in the Americas, we became dead. Go back. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies, those two witnesses, shall be dead. Where? Shall lie in the street of the great city. The great city, which is called Babylon the Great. Come on. Which spiritually, spiritually, not physically, is called, is what, is called, is what, is called, is called, Sodom, Sodom, and Egypt. Is Sodom in Egypt? Is Sodom in Egypt? No. So it's not literally or physically the land of Sodom, yes, but it's not physically the land of Egypt. Right. But it's called spiritually the land of Sodom and called spiritually the land of Egypt. Why? Because here in this land, homosexuality is going to be pushed and all the same conditions that the two witnesses were in Egypt, that's going to be their condition in this great city. So it is called Sodom and Egypt. So let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, and then Matthew 26. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Well, we know it's not the literal Egypt because in Exodus 14 and 13, which we read earlier, he already told us, you're not going to be there again ever. So when he says you shall go into Egypt again, he's saying you're going to go into slavery again with ships because you're not going to the physical one which you can walk to. This place you have to take a ship there, which is called transatlantic slave trade. They transported you across the Atlantic Ocean by ships. Come on. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee. So just as I'm saying it, it's how it's going to happen. Because I'm not talking about the literal Egypt. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Just like we read in Exodus 14, 13. The physical Egypt, you're not going to see that one again. It's the same Egypt that we read in Revelations that is called Egypt and Sodom. But it's a great city. Babylon the Great. Come on. And there. Ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto the white man. And that place will be spiritually called Egypt. And spiritually called Sodom. Come on. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. No nation is going to come and redeem you. No nation is going to come and speak on your behalf saying, free those black people that you got from the west coast of Africa and made slaves. No man is going to come and speak on your behalf. That is what the Bible is talking about. Matthew 26, verse 6. So what are we out here teaching? We are teaching that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. We were made slaves here in America for breaking God's commandments. God delivered us out of Egypt. He delivered us and called us his firstborn. That's how he made a difference. He destroyed the top nation on the earth at that time to show the world that God chose and deals with us. We are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people, and we are his sons. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.